Hey, how you doing? This is it, guys. This is the video you've all been asking for. Blowing up my inbox. This is a pretty popular question that I get almost daily from you guys. What kind of blank do you use? So this is going to be my rig rundown, but I'm not just going to include my guitar stuff. I'm going to include how I make these videos and any other questions that I think might fall into the category of gear. So first, let's take a look at the guitars. You know that song by The Temptations? My girl, I'm talking about my girl. This is my girl. She is a PRS SC245. People have asked me, is this pre Les Paul, pre lawsuit, bro? And I'm like, I don't know. All I know is that it's my girl. It is a 10 top, as you can see there. And what that means is it's more mystical and special and has uh, secret powers imbued within it. But in all seriousness, I love this guitar. I've had it since 2010. I use nine gauge strings on it. As you can see, I could wield it like an assault weapon if I needed to. Um, so I like that. It's light enough that I can destroy something. Uh, I wouldn't destroy it, but I could destroy something with it. Really, it just is the most sexual instrument I've ever seen. Moving right along, this is a 2014 Fender Stratocaster American Special, and it has Texas Special pickups. It has 11 gauge strings on it. And I primarily use this one for practice. Like I said, it has the heavy strings on it. So if I can play something on here, you better believe I can play it on my PRS with the lighter gauge strings. And the PRS tone is my preference, but you gotta have a Strat in your collection, right? Also, people have asked me about this finish. It is a satin finish, so generally it feels nice and smooth. This is a viola bass Epiphone. Um, it's not like an expensive instrument or anything. I think it was like $400 or $500, if that, when I got it. I've had it since 2007, maybe, or 2008. It was lost for many years in the beaches of Revere, Massachusetts, in a very strange place called Alex Melcher's Basement. As you can see, I play the bass like a guitar player. Moving along, I can see down here we have a familiar product. It is the axe handler. Let me just show you how this works real quick, guys, because the axe handler is an innovative product. And look at that. I just set my guitar on the ground here and it is perfect. It's not gonna fall over. And as you can see, we also have a frets in version of the axe handler. This works better for wider neck guitars and you can also place them on their side to change your strings like on a table. So aside from being insanely useful for any guitar player or bass player, Reax products the Axe Handler creators have invited me to attend NAMM this summer with them. I'm going to be hanging out in their booth, I'm going to be playing music, I'm going to be making videos for them and for Music is Win. I'm going to be doing crazy stuff. Check out Axe Handlers, click the link in the description to buy one, that way they'll know that I'm sending them business so they know I'm not a freeloader. Reacts, Axe Handlers, get yours now. This amplifier here is a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Three. I don't use it in my videos very often just because I live in a condo complex. I would probably get evicted if I cranked up this amplifier. So I'm going to show you what I do use for my guitar amplification needs and the tones that I use in the videos that you see and are constantly asking, how'd you get that sick tone? So from my guitar, I go into this PreSonus AudioBox 22 VSL. I use Logic Pro 10 for my digital audio workstation. I use bias effects for plugins.
Now normally when I'm speaking to you, I have lights on and a microphone as well. This is the mic that you'll usually see me wearing. It's like a, a little lavalier mic. Let me see if I can focus in on that there. There you go. As you can see, there's some light behind me making my face awfully dark. I need lights to make my videos look nice and crispy. Here are the lights that I use. They are these big umbrella looking things and I also can show you this blue screen that I use for certain videos when I feel it's necessary to transport myself to another dimension. So we have before and we have after. Now normally I wouldn't have that window open in the background, that's kind of counterintuitive to how videography works fundamentally, but I'm just showing you these lights make everything look a lot better. They help the camera pick up my image for better or for worse because you can see all the details of this pretty face. Ooh. Editing film is something that you guys also have asked a lot about. The answer is Final Cut Pro. So if you want to make your own guitar lesson videos or guitar videos like I do, you're going to need some kind of recording software and some kind of video editing software like Final Cut. Um, I think you can use like iMovie or Adobe Premiere as well as using for audio. You can use like GarageBand. Any basic stuff works. You don't have to pay for software to make cool stuff, really. It's important to have quality content, not quality gear. A crappy video is going to be a crappy video whether it's in high definition with amazing editing or not. So if you'd like to be a content creator, I highly recommend starting with the content part of that situation. Then upgrading your gear as high as you can go without even understanding what the message is you're trying to convey. So really all you do is shoot your video and simultaneously be recording the audio. I like to strum a big chord, bing, so I know when uh, to sync up the audio. It's that way I can sync up the waveforms and have no trouble pulling everything together and spending more time on creating the content than actually editing and producing it. So speaking of video, I'm going to show you the camera that I use and I'm going to use an iPhone to show you this. So, hello. So as you can see, I am shooting this little piece of the video on my iPhone 6S Plus, which is an amazing device for uh, anybody who's just starting out with video. That's all you need. You don't need a big camera like this. Um, but if you did want one like this, this is a Canon 70D and it has just, this is just the stock lens, 18 to 55 millimeter. I have a shotgun mic on top right now, but normally I use that lavalier mic that I showed you. Um, it is on a tripod and that's an iPhone tripod if I ever need that as well. This Canon is a great camera for people who want to vlog. It has like an autofocus feature that can focus on your face or certain zones of a shot or just a shot in general. So there's a lot of different flexibility ranges for shooting on it and I think it is probably the biggest investment that I've ever made into video and it's probably the only one I'm going to make. I almost forgot to mention my Gretsch Resonator guitar. Uh, it's an acoustic guitar. I don't really play acoustic that much, but when I do, I like to look cool when I'm doing it. These are the three pedals that I have right now and I'm starting to build a new pedal board with the help of some friends. Island Music Company gave me that carbon copy. You can check out a demo I did of it. Um, and a shout out to them in another video. This is the Keeley Seafoam Chorus and it sounds amazing. I also did a gear review on that. This is a chromatic tuner. It sounds ridiculous. These are the two books I use for practicing sight reading. You need to buy these books right now. I have links in the description to Amazon for you to just press the buy button. It'll only hurt for a second and then you'll have these books and you will become an amazing guitar player. So really that's it guys. I think that's a pretty sufficient rig rundown of my entire setup. Um, I don't think I missed anything. You can leave a comment if I did, but really I don't know who's still watching at this point after the guitars. It's kind of just like, meh, whatever. Unless you're into the filmmaking thing, in which case maybe there's some useful information in there. I want to thank you for watching this video. I know a lot of you have been requesting it, so I hope this answered your questions. Um, as far as recording techniques and things like that, that's a whole nother ballpark. Hopefully this gear will get you started in kind of Googling different things and, and kind of figuring out how you want to attack your creative outlook. And hopefully you use some of this gear in the name of video creation and guitar coolness. So once again, thank you for watching. Uh, one more quick plug, if you want to go to my website, which is musiciswin.com, 
I have a bunch of different email lists that you can sign up for if you're a beginner or intermediate or you want to learn about music theory or you just want to learn tips and tricks and licks or if you want to learn nothing at all, you just want cool stuff, you can sign up for what's called Fretboard Friday. It's just the coolest stuff that I found on the internet that week about guitar related awesomeness. So please go to musiciswin.com and sign up for one of those email lists or just check out the website. I've worked really hard on revamping the entire thing. Thank you, my friends. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.